Welcome to the Content Channel. Today we will be talking about transfer of merit. Why is it actually important? So I've been told by many fortune tellers and many masters that I will need to transfer my merit to get rid of bad luck. So for example, this year is my bad year, so supposed to have a lot of bad luck. So besides doing a lot of good things and a lot of charity, the next thing that I need to do is actually transfer my merit. So let's dive in and see what is the transfer of merits. So this is a standard practice in Buddhism where we transfer our merits to gods, to our deceased person, our friends who have just deceased or even transferring it to the hungry ghosts that are roaming around. So what happens is when you do something good, you want to share that happiness with another being. You want to share that wisdom with another being. So what this merit does is it helps the deceased person to reincarnate to have a better life in their next life and also to let them have better virtue. So there are several ways you can actually do the transfer of merit and the most important aspect about this is that you need to have the right concentration and the right intention when you are doing the transfer of merit. So one of the main ways is actually to chant the transfer of merit kind of sutta, like the mantra of transfer of merit. Another way of doing it is by imagining. You can think or you can, you can say it out loud that I would like to transfer this merit whatever good that I've done just now, I would like to transfer it to this being. So let's say, like normally I would say, I would like to transfer this merit to Lord Ganesha, or I would like to transfer this to my brother who have just died a few years ago. And then I would say something like, I would like to share this good deed with you, and I hope that we will both rejoice in the good deed that have just done, that have just made. So this is a very big question that I've asked myself. Do merits actually decrease when you transfer it to another person or another being? Because it's like, you have done all these good merits, right? You have done all this good stuff, right? To increase your own good karma and all this, right? And imagine if you have given it all away, then wouldn't that effort be all kind of wasted? Like humans are selfish, so we, we would kind of have that kind of thought, right? So after doing tons of research, the answer is that, the merit stays with you. It does not really get transferred out. It gets transferred out, but in another way. So you can think of it this way. You are making a photocopy of the merit that you have done, and then you send it to the person. So you actually still have the original copy, and then you can photostat it uh, whichever way you want, however many uh, copies of it to another person or another being. So another way that most Buddhists actually think of is like, a candle. Let's say you are a candle and then you have flame, right? So you are actually using your flame to actually transfer the flame to another candle. So you are lighting another candle. So in the meantime, your flame is still there. So it's like duplicating your effort, your, your merits to another person. So besides doing the charity that we will normally do, the good things that we will normally do, the good idea is to actually do transfer of merit right after you have done your charity as well so that uh, you can share that joy and share that happiness to another person or another being. So in the meantime, may Buddha be by your side. Namaste.